good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Our future is their future and vice versa. Amalia Street. The result of any negotiations cannot extend to the status of Artsakh and its future fate. David Babayan. The historical forces of Urfa will open in August. Azerbaijan is continue to spread hatred in Greece. The program on the 20th festival culture and nature of Manzur is known. The secret of Armenia monastery of Isi Kuli can be revealed. The 90s Golden Apricot International Film Festival has started. The Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia and the National Council of Western Armenia participated in a 15th session of the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous people in Geneva from July 1st to 8, 2022. The expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous people is the subsidiary body of the Human Rights Council and its recommendations are taken into consideration by that body. To this end, studies are carried out and various topics were discussed during the sessions. This year's studies focus on treaties, agreements and other constructive arrangements between indigenous peoples and states, including peace agreements and reconciliation initiatives, and their constitutional recognition. The complete file of National Council of Western Armenia was sent to the UN, which officially registered a study conducted by Chairman of National Council, Mr. Armin Akabrahman, who also took the floor to speak about the study. Read the full article on our official website. Relations with neighbors should be fixed, but there are no red lines. But there are red lines that should be not violated. Artsakh Foreign Minister David Babayan wrote about this on his Facebook page. We have repeatedly said that both the settlement of Armenian-Turkish relations and the negotiation on the Armenia-Azerbaijan peace treaty cannot extend to the status of Artsakh and its future fate. Because no status within Azerbaijan can ensure the rights, freedom and future of Artsakh, David Babayan wrote. Western Armenia strongly condemns negotiation in which provisions concerning Western Armenia are discussed and Western Armenia is not part of this negotiations. The cradle of many civilizational Urfa is one of the cities of Western Armenia which must be seen by travel lovers. Urfa also has a castle bearing traces of history and from there visitors can see a panorama of the city. The castle is located in the southern western part of Urfa on a hill. After three years of excavation and restoration work, the castle will reopen in August. The castle consists of two parts, internal and external. It is believed that it was built in the 4th and 5th centuries during the reign of King Abgar who ruled in Urfa. Western Armenia calls on its children to go and see the magnificent structures of our country and demand to stand up for the protection of those territories that are still under Turkish occupation. The statement of the Armenian Embassy in Greece, the video broadcast on July 5th by CBC TV Azerbaijan and distributed by Azerbaijan Embassy in Greece in Greek regarding the village of Mehmana and Artsakh and the historical and cultural heritage is nothing but an annoying attempt to export from the countries the policy of Armenophobia and trade that has become common in Azerbaijan to other countries. The village of Mehmana in Martaket region of Artsakh was founded by four Greek miners who were Pontus Greeks who escaped the genocide before the war Greeks and Armenians live side by side. There were many Armenian Greek families. The fact of encroachment of the Greek Orthodox Church and Greek historical and cultural heritage are also distorted and don't correspond to reality. The video deliberately keeps silent about the destruction of another Orthodox Church by the Azerbaijan authorities, the Greek Orthodox Church of St. Georg in Shushi, which was also visited by Greeks during the years of genocide committed by Turks. Both Armenians and Greeks, Yazidis and other peoples who settled in our territories were killed and deprived of their lives in their their native territories. We hope that there will be international discussion on this issue and an attempt will be made to silence the false rumors spread by Azerbaijan authorities. The organizing committee of Manzur Culture and Nature Festival in Western Armenia presented a program of 20th Festival, which will be held on July 20 to 24 to the public during a press conference of the Dersim City Hall. Dance and music concerts will be held throughout the festival, exhibition of paintings will be organized, and press releases will be broadcast. The main theme of the festival this year is to protect nature culture against mining corruption, life against robbery, art against prohibitions. Western Armenia welcomes all these initiatives initiatives aimed at protecting nature. The amazing and mistress is Sikh Kul Lake, which has a thousand year history, is located in Kyrgyzstan and hides many secrets. These treasures of underwater antiquities, monuments of material and spiritual culture attracts the attention of famous archaeologists and researchers back in 1800s. However, the most interesting story is connected with a search for the Armenia monastery, which according to some experts is located at the bottom of Isik Kul. Information about the Armenia monastery was first published by the Russian traveler Semyonov Tian Shansky. He was 
was the first to translate the notes of Catalan map into Russian. Another proof of the existence of Armenian Christian monastery in Isikul is the book The Land of Descendants of Patriarch of the Turks, published in 2022. Armenians create and spread their culture not only in their own land, and this once again proves that Armenians are an ancient creative nation. The 90s Golden Apricot International Film Festival started in Yerevan with more than 100 films from Mosser and High Quality Cinema and a selection of Cannes, Berlin and other international film festivals. During the festival week, the best novelties of the cinema will be presented. The festival opened with a screaming of Film America by Michel Gurdjian. The festival also includes films dedicated to genocide of Armenians, which have received a great response from society. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.